What's up guys, welcome back. It is spoiler season for Neon Kamigawa, and I'm going to do something new. So instead of looking for these images and pulling them up, I wanna talk about some of the new cards that came out. Just like, just real quick, just to like share my thoughts on something that I think could be really interesting. Um, getting into it, like I said, quick video, not gonna to spend too long on this. Um, while Mythic Spoilers are updating their list, Love those guys, love the chance that I got to play them a couple times a few years back in a couple pre-release events. Uh, but uh, I wanna talk about like just some of the cards that have been released recently, or at least previewed recently or spoiled, however you wanna put it. Um, first one is that white dragon, uh, Kyodai. Kyodai was very interesting because the way I see it, I see this as a very powerful five color commander. Uh, Kyodai Soul of Kamigawa is a four drop, three colorless, one white legendary creature dragon spirit with flash. It also has flying and when Kyodai or Kyodai, hmm, uh, Soul of Kamigawa enters the battlefield, another target uh, permanent gains indestructible for as long as Kyodai or Kyodai is on the field, as long as you control it. So I think that's really interesting because it's giving something else indestructible. The first thing I thought of was the Lieutenant, um, which I'll have on screen. Um, the Lieutenant that gives commanders indestructible, I thought that would be cool to give them both indestructible, um, but it can also give other things indestructible. So like, let's say you want to turn Kyodai or Kyodai um, into a Voltron commander, which is what I was thinking about right off the bat. Um, then you could give one of your equipment indestructible for as long as he's on the field and kind of like, you know, do like an indestructible lock. So that way, you know, you have like, say, a card that's giving him indestructible and then you're giving that equipment indestructible. You know, that way they both stay on the field. Um, but the other thing I saw that was really powerful was his second effect or her second effect, I don't know, dragons, spirit dragons have genders, I don't know. But um, pay Wooberg to give Kyodai five plus five until the end of turn. This pretty much makes Kyodai a one shot. Um, one of the cards I thought about, I can't remember the name of it, I think it was like Crucible of Dragons or something like that. It's a red enchantment, it'll be up on the field. Um, it gives dragons plus three plus three. Um, and I was like, man, if you have that enchantment on the field, that makes him him or her six and then you pump them up you can pretty much get them into one shot territory so then i was like man this would be really easy to build you would just get a whole bunch of mana rocks go voltron to protect them and you're pretty much just killing everybody on the board then if you want to add insult to injury you could add um oh the little little elemental that i fell in love with recently uh Kedis? Kedis? It'll be up on the screen um, where uh, you can then do that damage to each other player. You know, the damage that you deal to one player, you can deal to each other player. So that would be really cool. Like having a commander that's a four drop that you can Voltron. It has its own self pump, which it doesn't tap when you use the effect. It stays untapped. So all you need is the mana, um, which there are quite a few ways to get infinite mana in five colors or at least two you know, get infinite colorless mana and then filter it into five color mana. Um, there, there's so many different ways to do this. So I really like this commander just straight off the bat. I thought it was really powerful. I was really hoping that it was a real card and seeing that it pretty much is, I think this is gonna be so far early on my pick for strongest commander uh, that's been previewed. Um, next we have Atsushi. I'm gonna say Atsushi. That's what I'm gonna go with, um, the Blazing Sky. I don't really see this as a mono red commander, although it would be pretty cool as a four drop four four um, legendary dragon spirit. It has flying trample and when it's sushi, Atsushi, that's why I'm just gonna go with it. Um, the Blazing Sky dies, choose one. You can either exile uh, the top two cards of your library and then until the end of, the, of your next turn, you can play those cards, which is, you know, good. Um, Prosper, you know, support. Prosper's always getting support now, it seems. They're just moving forward with this exiling cards and playing them, which is pretty cool. And then the second effect is create three treasure tokens. So it's like, I like both, but I like the second effect more 
because I would like to put a card like this in um, Olivia Crimson Bride. You know, if you're not going with Vampire Tribal, if you're going with just Graveyard or Reanimator with uh, Olivia, this would be a great card because then you can attack, get Atsuchi back from the graveyard, sacrifice it with one of your sacrifice outlets, make three treasure tokens. You know, if you have Port Razor or something else um, to go into uh, near infinite attack phases, then this would be a great card to just mana ramp you. Could you imagine that? You, you play this card, sacrifice it somehow to the graveyard, get the three treasure tokens, attack with Olivia, get it back from the graveyard, right? You know, and then sacrifice it again. That's six treasure tokens. Like you could really just go off with a card like this. And so I think like the potential of this card in the 99 in aristocrat decks is going to be really good i think it's going to be really fun and really powerful the fact that it has trample just makes it a little bit better uh and then you know of course like i said before there are other cards that pump up cards but just just like just seeing this card i'm like man this is really good tech not only for olivia but for prosper uh getting into hitetsugu devouring chaos when i saw this card i was like hmm this might be really good for Eldrazi's. That was the first thing I thought of was Eldrazi's. There is Ogre Tri El Ogre Demon Tribal um, that, was, that came out a long time ago where there are a couple Ogres. If I can find them, I'll put them up on screen um, where they can search out demons from your deck and add them to your hand, I think it was. Uh, they were pretty cool and I really thought they needed more Ogre Demons in the game or at least more of this sort of demon tribal support. But with Hidetsugu, I think you can actually build a pretty good demon tribal since demons are like sixes, five, six, seven. Um, unfortunately, the black green ones were, were a lot higher, but there are a lot of mono black demons that do go up into like the nine to 10 range as far as mana cost. So that way you can hit people, but let's get into the effect real quick. I'm getting ahead of myself. So Hidetsugu Devouring Chaos is a four drop ogre demon, three colorless, one black legendary creature. Um, its effects are pay one black, sacrifice a creature, scry two. You don't have to tap for that effect, which I think is awesome. He's also a 4-4. Four, four. Um, and then his second effect is pay two, one red, and then tap Hidetsugu. Exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this turn. When you exile a non-land card this way, Hidetsugu, Devouring Chaos, deals damage equal to the exiled card's mana value to any target so like i was saying with demons you know most demons are like well there are some four drop demons but four through like nine i think nine was the highest demon that i saw um or at least that i own that's some pretty good damage you could deal to a player or a creature or getting rid of a threat um but then if you take that with Eldrowsies, then you start going above 9 and you start getting into the 10, 11, 12, 13 range. Um, of course, there are other cards that are like 14, 15, 16. I don't know if any that are in black, but you'd have to search. But um, but at least with Eldrowsies, you know you're going to top into something that's going to be generally above 5 or 6. Um, especially if you're hitting, you know, Void Widower, which is nine, or, you know, any of the Ulamogs or Kozilax or um, Emrakul, you know, they're, that are way up there. You're going to hit them and that's going to deal some pretty good damage. So I like Hidetsugu. I like the potential of him being a demon tribal commander, but also just, just kind of like big value damage commander i think that's what's going to be fun i think he would be good in the 99 as well because like i said there are those demons that can search for other demons and add them to your hand and there are a couple other demons that search but specifically there is demon search so i think with more demon support hopefully we get more demon support in the set or at least just something a little tribal that would be really interesting and then lastly i want to talk about kaito oh man when i heard kaito and i saw like he had like i don't know what that design is. i think it looks like there's a little dragon on his shoulder, which I couldn't tell, but the, all, the other art looks pretty cool too. Um, with Kaito, I think about Yu-Gi-Oh! Because there was a character named Kaito. Um, but Kaito is like that card we needed for ninjas. So this is what I was excited for with Kamigawa. I was hoping there would be more samurai and ninja support because we badly need them. Um, but let's get into Kaito. Kaito, uh, 
Shizuki um, is a three drop, one colorless, one blue, one black uh, legendary planeswalker. And at the beginning of your upkeep, uh, no, sorry, at the beginning of your instep, if Kaito entered the battlefield this turn, he phases out, which I think that's kind of interesting. That's like a very interesting effect that he phases out. Um, so I'm wondering if there's a reason for that. Like, can you make him into something that requires him to phase out? Or is it because ninja things? Like, I don't know. Uh, so the next effect is you can plus one loyalty, draw a card, then discard a card unless you attack this turn, which I think is really interesting. I like when they add these extra effects where it's like discard unless you did this or unless you control an artifact or unless you know like something like that because then it gives you insight um the second loyalty that's that's what we needed for if you're a ninja fan at least uh, minus two loyalty create a one one blue ninja token uh with this creature can't be blocked so finally something that's going to make us ninjas so we don't have to rely on all the little one drop unblockable creatures like merfolk and spirits and all the random stuff that we have to add into a ninja deck this is pretty cool i really like this um and his final effect which is minus seven you get an emblem with whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player search your library for a blue or black card put it onto the battlefield then shuffle i think that is super powerful whenever a creature you control deals damage to a player search your library for a blue or black creature card like you could use him for more than just ninjas with that effect honestly with that last effect that emblem you could go with so many things like if you're thinking blue and black you could put him in the new uh runo stormkirk deck where you could then get your um get your your sea creatures your krakens your leviathans your serpents etc your octopus uh from the deck and straight to the field and then uh Krothus can just make tokens of them you know like that's something that's really interesting where you could do that you could even put him in um <laughs> yeah eldrowsies <laughs> um but you there's so many things you could put him in that are not just ninjas where you could think outside the box and just think blue and black what do i want to get to the deck as fast as possible or to the battlefield from the deck as fast as possible um because it doesn't even specify the cmc it just says it has to be blue or black and even with devoid um there are certain eldrowsies in the deck that still count as the color because they have the pip so in the deck from unless they update the ruling for this card which they might update the rulings we'll see if they update them but you can still search for those cards with devoid because they have a color in the deck and devoid would only i think only activate when it gets to your hand maybe who knows um but yeah just thinking about this thinking about umbris um who was a commander that recently came out who's blue and black you could get those nightmare and horror creatures from your library to the field and then umbrus triggers again oh my goodness like there's that emblem is really good i think he's going to be a powerful commander like maybe a staple even for creature heavy blue black decks just thinking off the top of my head because i can think of so many decks that i could put him in even with artifacts you know like even artifact creatures that have blue or black um or even like artificers um I was trying to think, uh, I forgot his name off the top of my head already, and he's the one that uh, that gives all artifacts hexproof. Or you could go and, and search for Memnarch. Um, I, there's so many different things. Oh my goodness, this is it's just such a good card. I can't wait to see more of what this set has to offer, but uh, that's it for this video. I just wanted to like share my thoughts, just like what I'm thinking off the top of my head. Maybe, um, hopefully when we get a better a better upload of Kyodai. Um, I'll do a deck tech because I'm really excited about the different things you can do with that deck in general. Um, but overall, I think these are these are already looking like some awesome cards. And these lands look freaking beautiful. I don't know if you guys have been checking those out, but man, like just so far, these few cards that I've seen, I'm like, 
I'm like already my brain is hurting thinking of so many things I can do with them or where I could put them and it's just like oh I want them now <laughs> oh man all right but that's it i will see you guys more throughout the preview season um i'm gonna wait till there are more cards before i do these videos again these just little quick tapes and and just thoughts on things um but i will see you guys in the next video all right peace